it's your boy Juve the Great, Mr. Cocky and Confident, right here on the Hip Hop Chronicle. Definitely gonna happen, man. Me and baby been talking. You know what I mean? We we, we came to an agreement. It's definitely gonna happen, man. We just need y'all to be patient because we, we haven't had a chance to get to the studio. We all moving around right now. But it's gonna happen. Y'all stay patient, man. Is there a reunion tour in the works as well? Me and BG definitely going out. I don't know um, about Wayne because Wayne have some dates of his own set for overseas. And it was, we trying to figure out a way to intersect those together. And if, if we can do that. That'll be your, your, your reunion tour. Can you talk to us about your most memorable memory of that Hot Boys in the studio? Oh man, we got a lot of those. Uh, hmm. Dude, I, I, one of my biggest memories is one of the nights. You know, we never re we never really got chances to be in the studio alone, and it was a night where me and Joe Casey got an opportunity to be the two cats to stay in the studio by ourselves without nobody else from Cash Money. Yeah, make a long story short, we came up with the song 400 Degrees. So, you know, that was a memorable night for me, man. And not only that, uh, another memorable night, I got to hit you with two. Uh, I was in Nashville and it was snowing when I actually recorded uh, the two the hit records, High and Back of That. So I recorded them both in Nashville for people out there who don't know. <laughs> Wayne has become one of the rappers at the forefront of hip hop. Is there a worry that his recent success may overshadow the reunion? It can, uh, no, but it's not a worry. I mean, it's not a worry because you know I'm a part of Wayne. Wayne, you know, I'm, I'm the cat ball Wayne. First, first cat to bring Wayne out to put Wayne on the record. Uh, you know what I mean? Or anything. So it's like anything he do is really a tribute to what I'm doing, and it's not like we don't get along. You know, he came to New Orleans on his tour and they called me out on stage and bowed down to me, you know, in front of the whole city. So it's like, this my boy, this somebody that I've been telling him, I've been telling him from day one, man, you're going to be the man, you know. He been who he, he been the way he is now. You know, it's just people just not catching on to it. Oh, man, my solo project is really a, a tribute to me, you know, me being cocky and confident, really bragging on, you know, the way I'm living, you know, my lifestyle, you know, the things I do on a daily basis, what I do, you know, my hobbies and what I'm interested in, what I eat. This album is, is about juvenile. Yeah, it's just the fact that, you know, Reality Check was done in a different time, right after, you know, post-Katrina, people, that, you know, I was going through the same thing everybody else in New Orleans was going through. I was mad at the government, mad at just mad, you know, mad, mad at the way that they handled it, you know. They treated people, they, they, they treated people in my city like they was like slaves, you know. And um, it, 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 it kind of affected the, the songs, the outcome of my album, but, but now that's all over with, with me. It's basically back to my old tricks right now. That's why the name of the album is Cocky and Confident, because it, it, when you listen to it, it, it's a happy album. It ain't nothing to put you down or have you down. It's an upper. You know, so I think it's the perfect album for people right now because being that we're going through a lot, this country is at a, at its bottom right now. We don't know, we closer to a depression than we than we are than we ever were. So I felt like I needed to put an album out that raised raise our spirits up a little bit, and I think this is the perfect tool for that. 